Hello, my name is Patrick Otsia and uh, today we were discussing creating emotional harmony in the home. Emotion is a very serious driver and sometimes you see a lot of uh, individuals, very technically competent, but emotionally you see them uh, messing up and creating a lot of disaster in their home and their offices. There's a reason why we put this program together and we are saying that it is very easy for you to fix emotions. Uh, you need to understand, first of all, who you are, your identity, because your identity has a lot to do with who you are and the emotions that you, you, you come up with. Now, there are two types of emotions. The emotion of love, which is talking about joy and uh, resourcefulness and all that. And we have emotion of fear, which is talking about anger, sadness and all that. Now, these are things that if you don't deal with, these are major emotions that if you don't deal with them, they can go a long way to hurt you, hurt your family, and hurt your, even your career at the end of the day. For you to be able to solve this problem, one of the things you've got to do is, first of all, change your beliefs and value system. You don't know how to do it, let us talk to us, we'll help you to change your beliefs and value system. Number two, you need to work on yourself, your identity. Sometimes, I mean, it's because people have a weak identity, they don't believe in themselves, they don't like themselves, and that is the reason why you see them behaving in a particular way, and all these emotions are coming up. But if you know who you are, you know your strength and your weaknesses. You accept it as it is and you work on it. You work on your weaknesses and you build on your strength. Now this helps you to be able to move forward and perform better. Now this also helps you to understand that the other person you are dealing with, be it your spouse or your children or your parents or whatever, they also have weaknesses for you to be able to, you know, understand and help them to overcome some of those challenges. Finally, let's also talk about the words we use. Very, very important. The words we use go a long way to trigger emotions in people. Because you see, when you use a particular word, it can remind somebody of a memory, it can remind somebody of a language, it can remind somebody of something that had gone on in the past that wasn't so good. And I want to encourage you that um, continue you know, listening to us on the show and it will, be a, it will go a long way to be a blessing to you. Thank you very much. My name is Patrick Oshikubu from Skills Africa. Let's get it.